All right, guys, I'm going to do my review of the, thank you very much, Jerry, uh, the Agda 110-watt monocycle. Um, I ordered this from a U.S. seller in California. Um, for me, it was about three seventy-five. dollars uh, Not too bad for a starter. But, uh, let's go ahead and uh, see what's in the box. And uh, later on, I'll post a review on disassembly and other functions. So let's see uh, what we've got to work with. And yes, this is the kind of foam that just leaves little bits and pieces everywhere. I absolutely cannot stand this kind of packing. But, yeah, I got it back. I'll clean it up later. So. In the bottom we have, i show this here in the camera, two training wheels. Uh, nice, uh, solid, not, yeah, solid rubber, uh, same as you'd find in, in line skates, uh, with ball bearing 360 degree pivot, and they seem to be very well manufactured, actually. So, quality wheels. We have the learning strap which I may or may not use, but uh, we'll go over that when I go through the instructional video. I'm telling you, I really don't like this packing. Well, I'll take a compressor to actually clean it off. But, uh... 110 volt, uh, three prong into a absolutely huge charger piece uh, with a specific uh, twist on end for the unit itself. And last is the screws that attach the training wheels to your uh, foot decks on the unit. So, I'm not going to go over how to put these on, uh, uh, not in this video. So. Here is the small user manual. Uh, again, it's a, uh, an Agda. I'm assuming I'm saying that right. Who knows? Uh, folds to a multi-part piece. We have uh, information on, let's see here. Safety measures, alerts, accessories. Uh, main, main functions, how to start, power indicator, speed limit protection. Uh, tilt protection, charging, uh, wet water resistance, maintenance, inflation, how to replace the tire. Uh, good stuff to know, actually. Uh, and here is the data on it, which may or not, may not be posted on some sites. But for this particular model, this is what it has. Uh, this is the CDL1, which, by the way, was not posted on the website. Uh, but now that I have a reference, I'll uh, I'll put some stuff in the description. Uh, maximum speed, 18 kilometers, activated at 12 is the alert. Range, 18 to 23. 
course, I haven't had a chance to test any of this, so we'll, we'll see you later. 15 degree climbing angle. Uh, there are some models that have 20, 25, 30 degree. I haven't seen anything over 30. But even 15 is actually not bad. Uh, 110 watt lithium. Uh, when I do the tear apart, or the, uh, yeah, the tear apart video, uh, I'll show you the battery and see if there's anything more we can do with it to increase its power. Uh, temperature, negative 10. Weight limit, 120, 120 kilograms. That's roughly 186 or so pounds. Uh, charger voltage, AC 220. Um, it says 220, just, you know, it'll work in your regular 110 outlet. <coughs> Or should, supposedly. Charge time for the 110 watt model, which is this one. Uh, 80 minutes and 85% charged in 60. We'll see if that's true or not. I don't even know if it came charged yet. Haven't tried. Uh, size, pedal height, tire size. Da, 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 da. Okay. Uh, but general good stuff to know. Uh, general use. Um how to ride it, how not to, <laughs> you know, good stuff to know. So, now, on to the main unit. exactly say it's light, but uh, it's probably a good 20-25 pounds. Um, much heavier than I would have thought, but uh, yeah, if it works, what's it really matter, right? <laughs> this is the cheap version, so it's pretty much a toy. I'm sure the more expensive ones actually weigh a little more, but yeah, no big deal. Let's take the bag out. top here we have travel in the extended this was this uh, what appears to be a little metal plate was not in the pictures descriptions or anything uh, this was never here so I take that back that is not a metal plate that is a 16th inch thick uh, sticker which act, which can be easily peeled off it's actually not even Stuck on all that great. Uh, I'll probably end up taking it off just to make it look clean. This side. Uh, the padding. It's not really padding like you would think, like a memory foam or something that would contour to your leg. It's actually a rubber pad. I mean, it's got, it's got grip to it. I mean, I, I can't... Yeah, I don't. You don't slide on it, so it's not. So it wouldn't necessarily be comfortable, but it keeps your leg from sliding off of it. It definitely has grip. So, yeah, it may not be quite what you expect. Same with this side. Uh, up here should be the audible alarm. We have a USB connection. Uh, this particular one, I believe, charges. Uh, cell phones and whatnot. This is a, a USB power port. Your four lights uh, indicating battery level. This is your charger port with a dust cap. And this is your power button. Let's go underneath. Sorry for the lighting. But uh, here's your tire. Which is pretty well inflated already. Um, has quite a bit of grip uh, this rubber is very good um, yeah very well very solid construction no complaints there uh, rim and everything looks good as I move it through everything seems fine here's your filler port uh, off the top of my head I have not seen what tire pressure should be but I'll check it uh, 
later on in another video and find out. Uh, your pads, or your, uh, your foot pedals, these, wow, that's actually harder to move than you'd think, um, fold down, and they seem extremely sturdy. Um, definitely not a problem to put them down. Okay. Um, if you look here, the surface of the pad isn't great. It has ridges that run lengthwise, but nothing to keep you on side to, uh, keep you on side to side. But running front to back, you still kind of run the chance of falling off. Um, I may or may not do something about that. Uh, grip tape. Uh, you hear a lot about that from uh, skateboards. Same stuff they put on the top. It's like sandpaper with a adhesive backing. That would work to give you grip in any direction. So, and we'll get to it later, but uh, Phillips head screws is all this thing is put together with. The body molding is... I actually have to squeeze fairly hard for this. Uh, that's definitely durable. It's, you know, it's it's not a weak thing. It's very solid construction. Um, I think I'd probably trust myself to stand on it. I'd have no problem with that. Well, let's see if it uh, powers on. If it came with any battery. Okay. Didn't stay on, it may be dead. Okay, it's there, but it's also not quite right. Notice how it's not level. Um, and if you pick it up, the alarm goes off which means you have to do a reset. And now it it won't work. So, turn it off. Yeah, seems to work pretty good. Now, tilt protection should be when I go more than 45 degrees to the side. Can't tell if it was really 45, but it seemed like it wanted to take off. So, okay. And here's about 45. So yeah, it works, but may you, you really start getting to the end of it. So, uh, yeah, all in all, I'd say this uh, seems to work pretty well. I'm a little strange about the fact that it thinks level is actually tilted. Um, I'll have to do a little research on that to figure out why. But uh, for now, that... Uh... Oh, uh, one more thing I wanted to point out before I get completely out of the way with this. Underneath the sticker on the bottoms of the foot pads is the holes where the bolts for your training wheels go. They'll go in these slots. Um, I would cut out around just a little bit just to make sure that when you're threading it in, you don't get the sticker caught in there and then you start gumming up the, uh, the holes and when you take them out... Uh, Stuff doesn't accumulate in there. Should you want to use the wheels again, you have a hard time getting it out or getting the screws in. So, yeah, uh, just kind of cut out a little bit and make sure you don't thread it in. Keep the keep the threads clean. And that is also the same on this side. So, yeah, I think that does it. Um, 
I'll put I'll post the link in the description uh, when I have a second video up about uh, the teardown and uh, the actual usage, and we'll uh, go from there. Thanks for watching, guys.